Hi, I'm Tate and this is the Blue Collar Dreams channel. For my first video, I'm going to show you two methods that I use to turn scraps of cedar into these simple soap trays. I started making these trays after my wife began making natural homemade soaps. Since we had just switched from using liquid soaps, we didn't have any trays around. And this seemed like a simple enough project. We ended up liking them so much that we started giving them away with soap samples. Uh, now I still make them and sell them on my Etsy shop, which I'll have a link to in the description below. Uh, the first version is cut entirely on the table saw, and the second uses a cove bit on the router table uh, and ends up with curved grooves. The rest of the process is the same for both versions. Let's get started. I start by flattening the faces on the jointer. Then at the table saw, I resaw the lumber into four pieces. At the thickness planer, I mill the boards until they're approximately three quarters of an inch thick. This lumber had been sitting in my shop for about a year, year and a half, and had dried out a lot. Um, as you can see there, there's you know one part just completely broke off, and then the crack also went into the other piece. Uh, so I went ahead and just took that out, and instead of having four pieces of the same size stock, uh, just made it a small, medium, and large size. Uh, at this point, I screwed a stop block into my tabletop and used the scrap plywood to uh, elevate the piece so that the plane wouldn't hit the stop uh, and just went ahead and cleaned up the faces of the uh, small and medium boards. Now that the stock is milled, I'll run through the first method that I used to make the grooves and dados. This is done entirely on the table saw. I start by using multiple rip cuts to create grooves on the length of the board. Then I use a stop block on the crosscut sled to cut the stock to width and cut the dados on the opposite side of the board. The second method is done at the router table with a cove bit installed and the bit depth set to a little over half the thickness of the board. Again, I start with ripping coves for the length of the stock. Uh, after that, I go back to the table saw, use the crosscut sled and stop block to cut the trays to length. Uh, then it's back to the router table to use a backer board and multiple passes uh, for the crosscut routing. Uh, I start very shallow and then gradually increase the depth until the final pass reveals circular holes where the coves intersect on opposite sides of the tray. Now the fun part. I sand all surfaces starting with 60 grit to round over the bottom of the trays and these over all other edges. Then I repeat the process progressing through 220 grit.
When the sanding is done, I wipe them down with either water or mineral spirits and then sand away any grain that's raised and rinse one more time. Since cedar is naturally rot resistant, there's no need for finish and the trays will age naturally over time. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, click the like button and subscribe so that you can see future videos. Check, check. Just another bearded woodworker. Um, just trying to get comfortable in front of the camera. So, Let's try this again with props this time.